Hey gang and welcome to your fourth Git and GitHub tutorial and in this video we are going to create our very first repository. Okay, so hopefully by now you've got Git installed on your computer. You'll also need open at this point some kind of command line interface. I'm using Commander right here. Also, you'll need open a text editor, hopefully Atom, which I suggested in the previous tutorials. If not Sublime or whatever is fine as well. Now I've created two directories, one called git1 and one called git2, and we're gonna create a repository in each one of these directories in a minute. So go ahead and create one of those. But the first thing we need to do is navigate into one of these directories where we want to create a repository in our command line tool. So I could say something like this, cd, you know, documents, and then go cd something else, and eventually wind up in this git1 folder right here. Instead, a little trick, you can just right click this in Atom, go to cop uh, copy full path, and then we can just say cd, paste that in, and then we're gonna navigate into this exact directory where we wanna create this repository. Cool. So how do we create this repository? Dead simply. All we do is say git, and then init, which stands for initialize, click enter, that is gonna initialize an empty git repository inside this project. And you'll see now, or just about see, this git file right here. Or rather, this is not a .git file, but a folder, because we can expand it. And you'll see all of these different things inside. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail as to what these are just yet, because it's quite advanced, and we'll leave that for another tutorial. But all you need to know, the existence of this .git folder means that this is now a git repository with inside this folder, the working directory, and git is gonna track any kind of changes that we make inside this project folder. Cool. Now, one cool thing about Atom is that it provides some kind of highlighting effects for the different stages of our files in Git, and that will all become clear later on. But in order to see these, little quirk, you might have to restart Atom. So I'm gonna close it off and open it up once again. You might not have to do that. This is just my version of Atom. So now you'll notice it's no longer a folder, but these little bars are right here, which is the symbol for a repository. So that's an easy way in Atom to see that this is a repository, right? Another cool thing, if we say inside this directory, touch index.html, and by the way, this touch command is only gonna work if you're on like a Mac or Linux or you're using Commander. It won't work on the Windows command line interface, okay? You'll have to create that manually instead by right clicking and creating. Anyway, it creates this index file for us, and if we now go in it, you can see that this is green, okay? So normally, when we're not in a repo, this is just gonna be gray, and all the different files are gray. But because this is now a Git repository inside Atom, Git is recognizing that this index file is a new file. It wasn't there before. And it's letting us know that by changing this file to green. It's letting us know that it's new. Some kind of change has been made, okay? So I'm just gonna create a dummy HTML file for now and save that, doesn't really matter. Um, all I wanted to show you for now is how to create this Git repository. And now we can see that these changes are being tracked because of the different colors, okay? So a project folder doesn't have to be empty for you to create a repository in. We could create a repository in a folder, such as this one, git2, which already has files in it. So this already has an index file and a styles.css file. So if I wanted to create a repository in here, I just do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna right click, get the full path, and say cd, and go to this path. So we're inside here, we can say the same thing, git init, to initialize a repository. So now this is a Git repository again. Just gonna restart this so we see those updated icons, etc., those different colors. Now we can see that these things here are being tracked as well. Okay, cool. So now we've created a repository from scratch in a folder, but also a repository in an existing project directory which already has files. And it's gonna track changes in these files from this point, okay? So there we go, that is how we create a repository. And in the next tutorial, what we're gonna do is start editing files and adding them to a staging area, which I showed you in the last tutorial.